Imagine living your life after 50 and feeling energized and excited about your future. Welcome to the Women in the Middle podcast, the podcast for women who are ready to figure out what they want and create the life they deserve. Here's your host and master certified life coach, Susie Rosenstein. Hey there, welcome back to the podcast, Women in the Middle. I'm your host, Susie Rosenstein, and I am so glad to be with you again for this week's bonus mini-sode, which is all about how to start regret-proofing your life. There's going to be more regret-proofing information coming your way, but I wanted to do a little kickstart with this cute little mini-sode. If this is your first episode of Women in the Middle, I am so glad you found us. Welcome. Women in the Middle is about actionable life coaching for women in their 50s. It's designed to help with career boredom, career change, midlife crisis, transition, empty nest issues, all from a mindfulness perspective. And I describe it as actionable because we get right in there. It's super practical. My mission is to help older and wiser women like you get excited about your life again because, as you know, it's pretty easy to get into a funk. Not necessarily a full-blown midlife crisis, You know, with the convertible and the red sports car and jumping out of a plane and all that. But just to a point where you're feeling a bit off, you're feeling a bit funky and you know that something's just not right. Sometimes we need a little help, especially when it comes to remembering how much fun we can still have in our lives, even at our age. All right, so much good stuff to get to. So today's podcast is all about regret proofing. And what I mean by this is what you can do on purpose to make sure that you don't have regrets in your life. As women in the middle, I know that you definitely do not want to have regrets. And one thing I know for sure is that you will end up regretting having regrets. So you want to avoid this. Trust me on this one. (laughs) To be clear, I'm not talking about regrets that you may already have. No, the question is... What can you do to prevent having regrets? Like waterproofing your house. Anyone who has done this giant job knows what I'm talking about. A huge effort goes into making sure that your house stays dry. You've got a big giant trench dug up around the perimeter of your home. You've got the funny looking membrane along the walls. Big giant effort to make sure that you do everything you can to prevent water coming into your house from the ground. So the concept is, that you want to do everything you can to make sure that you don't have regrets, that you live your life exactly the way you want to live it, that you're excited about plans for the future, that you're living with intention. The million dollar question is though, how do you do that, right? (laughs) And I have to say, this concept is at the core of the work I do with my clients. In fact, my signature program is called Nine Steps to Regret Proof Your Life. And I absolutely love this concept. Now, the reason is because there's so much you can do with this work. It's totally possible to reduce the likelihood of having regrets. And guess what? It all starts with your thoughts and your awareness of them. Seriously, that's it. It's not some mysterious luck machine out there in the universe. It's not a bunch of external circumstances. It's your thinking. Learning how to identify thoughts and see that they're optional is the very first thing you need to do. And I'm not going to go into the nine steps right now, all nine steps in this mini-sode. I mean, it is a mini-sode after all. (laughs) But I wanted to introduce you to the way I've been thinking about regret proofing and invite you to a free exclusive group called Regret Proofing 101. So please stick around for a few more minutes until we get to the end and I'll give you the web address. Now, I see the bulk of regret proofing falling into three areas of thought work. The first is around your contribution. What I mean is the way you want to contribute professionally, either for compensation or as a volunteer. So many of you have been in jobs way too long, or you're just plain old bored with what you're doing. And this is what I mean. The way you contribute takes up a fair bit of time every day, every week, every year. So it's really an important chunk of your life to be intentional about. What I see with my clients is that as women in the middle, time just goes by. And before you know it, decades have gone by without a lot of reflection and planning about this part of your life. 
You like stability. You like your benefits. You like routine. I totally get it. But for now, just please be open to the idea that for regret-proofing purposes, you got to take some time to really think about your professional contribution. Okay, another big part of your life that needs some serious attention is your relationships. Again, as women in the middle, you've been rushing around in a chaotic blur for a couple of decades. It's hard enough to deal with life. Cooking, cleaning, schlepping, commuting, soccer, graduations, vacations, tap dancing, dance, all of it, right? Cheerleading, who knows what else? Music lessons, I could go on. And the thing is that for you to find time to think through the quality and nature of the relationships that you have in your life, when you have all this other stuff going on, it's a lot. And more importantly, if these relationships are what you want going forward. This is a huge area of potential regret for my clients, and I'm not just talking about your spouse or your partner. I'm also talking about your kids, your parents, your friends, your siblings, your neighbors, your cousins, your colleagues. You get the picture. Are you the person that you want to be in these areas of your life? Might you have regrets if you don't make some changes and start visiting people in the hospital, for example, your friends or relatives, or find time for lunch, organize that girl's trip, spend one-on-one time with each of your kids, pick up the phone for birthday calls instead of Facebook Messenger. Do you get what I'm talking about? If you don't want to have regrets about your relationships, you have to be more intentional about them, prioritize them, and do some serious regret-proofing. The third area of regret-proofing your life is your relationship with yourself. And I think you might get this one pretty quickly. This has to do with making sure that you don't have regrets about you. And I mean things like your weight, your health, your skills, your experiences. So where do you want to travel in your lifetime? What do you want your weight to be? What skills do you want to have? What skills do you want to improve? What things do you want to have more fun with, like music, yoga, art, dance? What experiences do you want to have? Do you want to live more in the present moment? Do you want to write? I can't tell you how many of my clients talk to me about wanting to write. Are you with me? These things take time, focus, planning, and accountability. And if you don't put in the effort, another decade or two will fly by and you may have regrets. So. My amazing women in the middle, think to yourself for a minute. What would your future self say to you right now when it comes to regret proofing? What does she know you should be doing because of what you want to do? So you won't have regrets. Allow that thought. Don't squish it down or try to kick it out of your brain. Listen for mind chatter and drama that it's too hard or it's too expensive or it'll take up too much time. What did she just say to you? What did she whisper into your ear? What does she know you need to do so you don't have regrets? Listen to her. Your future self knows that you can do hard things. She knows that you're worth it. She doesn't want you to have regrets, and neither do I. So ladies, who is in? I think it's time to regret-proof your life. That's what this podcast is all about. And mindfulness skills and thought work are essential to the whole operation. It's my honor to be here in your ear and as one of your guides. And I hope this perspective helps you as you take a baby step toward committing to this most important act of self-care. That's it for this bonus mini-sode. If you like what you've heard, just head over to Women in the Middle podcast on iTunes and leave me a review. If you are a regular listener of the podcast and you've said to yourself that you want to leave me a review and you still haven't, it's a great opportunity to practice being more intentional and accountable. And I have to tell you, seeing these reviews, remember, I'm sitting here in a cedar closet, seeing these reviews and hearing from you guys on email, it just warms my heart. It's just amazing to know that you're listening, you're learning, and that you're connecting. And now I also want to invite you to my group on Facebook. It's called Regret Proofing 101. You can head to the show notes and get the link directly, or you can just search Regret Proofing 101 in Facebook, or you can go to www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash regret 
Proofing 101. So check out the show notes with more information and all the links at www.susierosenstein.com. And one more thing, if you haven't done so yet, go to www.susierosenstein.com forward slash midlife funk to grab your copy of my free ebook, 10 Simple Ways to Bust Out of Your Midlife Funk. It is a great way to take the first step to shake up your perspective about this phase of your life and what is possible for you. Let's do this, ladies, one regret-proofing thought at a time. Thanks so much for listening.